go. There's an old country saying that says, you grow through what you go through. Mm, look at that tank! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to do any more of these videos. Because, um, you know, when you work hard on YouTube and you grind, you don't really want to do the videos that don't perform as well. And these videos just, uh, you know, obviously it's not really in my niche. It's not in the things that my channel has, you know, penetration into the algorithm for. But when I was, uh, by the way, I just got off of 14 days of COVID. It really kicked my butt, but that's not what this video is going to be about. What this video is going to be about is um, you really do grow through what you go through. Um, you know, I did these videos during ICAST called Game Changers, and it created a lot of, you know, discussion. But I'll tell you what isn't a game changer. A game changer is anything that changes something for a long, you know, for a long time, long period of time. And what's been a game changer in my life has been dedicating myself back to uh, getting back in shape, to losing the weight. And I got to thank my beautiful, amazing, wonderful wife, Christy, for that. It means that hopefully I get to spend a few more days here. Uh, on this planet with her and with all you knuckleheads. You know why? Because she's family. By the way, when I say the word knucklehead, I actually got a lot of blowback from calling people knuckleheads in a previous video. And uh, I'm going I'm to quantify that. I'm a knucklehead. And I think if you follow somebody like me, you obviously have to be a knucklehead. Because according to Webster, a knucklehead is a stupid person. But that's not what I'm calling you guys or what I'm calling myself when I call you a knucklehead. I think a knucklehead is somebody that's just a little bit off. And uh, I'm more than a little bit off. I think a lot of you guys got to be <laughs> more than a little bit off to want to follow the escapades of some knucklehead like me. But I'm trying to bring a value proposition to the table for you trading the time that you watch my videos for getting something out of it. But more importantly, I feel like we've created a family here. This is not you, my fans, and me, the influencer or public figure or all of that. It's a family. You know, you can call your brother or your sister or your uncle or your daddy or somebody a knucklehead and depending on the intonation and the inflection in your voice they know what you mean so you guys know what I mean and uh, but if somebody else calls you that <laughs> then you get a little offended or somebody else calls them that you know so I get it but for you guys that are here on a regular basis I just want to explain that to me that's a term of endearment because you got to be a little bit not right to follow a guy who's not right for whatever reason but uh guys after 14 days in quarantine and after legitimately getting my butt hammered by this virus it's crazy that the first thing i wanted to do when i got out of quarantine was not go fishing the first thing i wanted to do is get back out here and get back after it <laughs> And as tough as it was mentally and tough as it was physically to go through that virus, it was tough. The toughest thing was literally what I had to do this morning, which is to go to the 75 Heart app that I hadn't been on. And when you click finish for a day that you didn't finish, it says, I failed. You have to click the button that says I failed. Then another screen pops up and says, hey, just to be clear, I want to make sure you didn't do this on accident. You have to acknowledge that you failed. Then you have to type out the word start over. So I love this app. I love this program. It has been a game changer for me in my life. And I think it could be for you 
in your life if you give it a shot. But here's why I decided to do these videos again is because I don't care if it gets 600 views or 60,000 views or 6 million views. I care about the fact that as a family, you share with your family what you're going through. You share with your family what you grow through because if you grow through it and you want to benefit them, then you should share with them what has made a positive impact in your life. And so getting my fat butt off the couch, out of the chair, out of the house, onto the trail, into the gym, and committing to self-improvement. You know, I've got a lot to be proud of. By all accounts, I can claim success. I do what I love uh, for a living. And I think that there's very few people that truly achieve that in their life. And so again, I've got a lot that I could be proud of. I could rest on my laurels, but I'm not because I'm not the best me that I can be if I'm not being the best me that I could be. So I'm super blessed that my wife found this program, that she put the fire under me to get back out there because she knew that I'm the kind of person that needs structure. How you guys doing? <laughs> she knows that I'm the kind of person that needs structure. After spending most of my adult life in the military, I kind of ran away from that, to be honest with you. And by running away from that, I did not take advantage of everything that I learned in a career in the military where I could have used that momentum. And momentum is a big positive thing. In fact, it's kind of crazy. I did a video called Momentum and I talked about this concept that I created called Momentum. And Andy Frazello, the guy who founded the 75 Hour Program, did a video about it a couple days ago. And I was like, yeah, that's right there what I'm talking about. And so I got to the point where I had no momentum. I had no momentum because I was forced to. I didn't choose to, and I could have had a pity party and said, oh my God, I was 56 days from 75 hard, you know? And uh, you know, we say though, when you buy something with hard money and you get change back, you think of change as what's left over, right? You got, you gave them a dollar, they gave you 25 cents back. You got 25 cents change. Uh, for me, change is not what's left over. Change is what remains. And so for me with this 75 hard program, what remained is a commitment to being better. So I don't look at it like I have to start over. I look at it like I get to start over. I get to continue my journey. I get to check those boxes every day. And then when I finish that 75 hard, I think it's gonna be even sweeter. My wife is this close. She gets to drink a glass of wine in six or seven days when she finishes i get to watch because i started over and i could have easily said you know what i'll do i'll wait till she finishes and i'll celebrate with her because it wasn't my fault it wasn't my fault that i didn't finish it was COVID's fault but that's just another lesson that you got to take in life is everything doesn't have to be assigned a fault everything doesn't have to be a right or a wrong and you definitely got to get out of making excuses. The one thing that I've learned from this program is stop making excuses. Even for somebody like me, oh, hold on guys. Whoa, sorry about that. So even for somebody like me that has held myself accountable for years, the big thing is not making excuses. And when you don't make excuses, you don't give yourself an option to fail. So when I had to click that button this morning that said I failed, I disagree with that. Love the app, love you Andy, love everything about the program. But uh, as long as I have typed those words start over, I didn't fail, I just, because I didn't quit. And as long as I didn't quit, I haven't truly failed. I might've failed at that attempt, but you ain't failed until you quit. So the takeaway from this thing is, sorry for the video, I did something. Hope the audio's okay. But the hope that the number one takeaway from this video is you don't fail, you don't truly fail until you quit. And I ain't quit and I'm gonna keep sharing these videos with you. Y'all do me a favor and share them. Help get the message out there because if we can just affect one person's life, it was worth it.